cloud cover, weather patterns and conditions. What's happening now and in the immediate future, whenever and wherever our military forces move, their decision makers need instant information and updates on the world's weather. Their mission success depends on it. Hello, I'm Dr. George Fishbeck, a meteorologist at a major Los Angeles television station. Forecasting the weather is my business, a job that depends on the use of satellite data and computers to provide up-to-the-minute interpretation from which I make my forecasts. This is the same high technology that's used at Offutt Air Force Base, Nebraska, at the military's largest meteorological computer facility, Air Force Global Weather Central. Here, over 140,000 weather reports are gathered daily from military and civilian sources around the world. They also monitor sunspot activity, which can greatly affect the quality of communications. The process of weather forecasting begins with data taken from geostationary and polar orbiting satellites. Images of cloud formations are beamed down to the receivers in Site 3. This data is fed into their large multi-mainframe computer. Here it is used to construct models of existing atmospheric conditions and to project changes which will occur there in the future. The continuous updating of global information has been made possible by the spectacular accomplishment of computer technology. Computers are a vital part of what we do. When we take in the information, we do everything with a computer, and we also process everything in the computer system. We generate products out of the computer system. They're extremely important. That's, they allow us to activate all of our equipment and access all of the equipment. Sergeant Wilkinson, will you please go check the hips? The result of having more data sources from which to draw has resulted in more accurate long-range forecasts. The forecast position has forecasts which are not general more. weather maps, but rather mission-tailored ones. Completed data is transmitted by telefax machine to the requesting unit. Advanced knowledge of approaching thunderstorms, for example, can give a base or wing commander time to take preventive action. Hi, do you have a weather brief for the coral run mission? Sure, right here. There you go. Uh, pretty much VFR throughout the majority of the run. Global Weather's computer flight plans show pilots the most efficient way to fly from point A to B, resulting in fuel savings. Over the years, Global Weather Central has been constantly making changes in its equipment and streamlining its procedures. Presently, they are changing their method of forecasting to interactive computer graphics. Their new satellite data handling system uses on-screen overlay satellite imagery to take over many of the former manual functions of the forecaster. Hundreds of sorties are launched each day with 